Hi again everyone, I am going to do another Power Automate demonstration. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can check for stock on a website using Power Automate that's out of stock and you wanna grab it as soon as it comes back into stock. So here I am on um, this website and I'm after this MSI graphics card. And as you can see, there's no buy option. It just says coming soon. If I open up another page, we can see that when the product is in stock, there's this add to basket function there. So if I come back to here, um, what I'm going to do is just bring up the developer tools in Chrome and click on this. And then we can see that it's in this div class purchase info um, and this pre-order coming soon. So what I am going to do is grab this URL and I'm going to create a scheduled flow called check for MSI card. And I'm going to repeat it every 30 minutes. So the first step is going to be HTTP and the method is going to be get and that is going to be the URI that I copied from there. And then I am just going to get the body of that. Uh, in fact, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do substring body and then index of um, body again. And the string that I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for div class purchase info. So I'm just going to go for just going to view the source. So I'm going to go for div class purchase info. Paste that in there. Um, okay, let's save that and test that quickly. Okay, so that's worked and it's given us, I want up to this ending div there. So let's just have a look at that in Notepad++. And we can see the length is 214. Um, so I'm gonna go in here and edit this. I'm gonna do a substring, wrap this previous substring in another substring I'm going to say the start index is zero and I want for a length of 214. So we should just then have just that div. Mm, not bad, we've got four extra characters at the end. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going to just take those off. So I have 210. And then I am going to do um, Rename this to purchase info. And then I'm going to go into a condition. And then I'm going to say if purchase info does not contain coming soon. Then if it doesn't contain it, then it then it is in stock. So I'll add an operation and I'll say push, send me a mobile notification. And the text will be MSI graphics card back in stock. Um, we'll include a link. And in fact, I'll add a new action up here. link. I'll put the link into there and I'll make this link the dynamic input for the HTTP method and in the link here I'll just put the link text and the link label MSI And then if no, I don't really want to do, to do anything, um, 
if I will do some in mobile notification and we'll say MSI card still out of stock. I won't actually use this because it'll be annoying. So that should be it. Let's have a look. Save. I'll just turn on screen recording on my iPhone. Okay, so I'll press test now. Now it's come up there. The MSI card is still out of stock. That was the branch that was satisfied. I'll open up my flow. And there's no, I didn't put a link in that one, so we don't get to see that. I'll just flip it around so it says uh, contains so that we get a more realistic test run. So now it says the graphics card is back in stock and I can just open that up on my mobile phone. It gives me the link to click. It says go and buy it now. I can click that and it takes me straight back to that site. So that's just a very quick and easy way to use um, Power Automate to check for stock and that's something that happens a lot at the moment. A lot of products are out of stock. So if you've got a favorite website that you buy from that you wanna check the stock on, this is an easy way to do it. Give it a go and let me know how you get on. Cheers, bye bye.